my angels, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Now this is not just a normal vlog, this is the very first vlog of Vlogmas. I am so excited, I cannot even begin to tell you, I genuinely have goosebumps. I just can't believe it's this time of year already and what a year it has been. I never thought at the beginning that I would be sat here talking to you now and really this would not have happened without every single each and every single one of you and I am so so grateful. I'm also so beyond grateful to Josie for saying, Lenora, give YouTube a go. You have got to film this. And I do feel that I went into this rather naively, but I have loved every single step of the way and that has led to this very, very moment. Now, last year I tried <laughs> to do Vlogmas. Well, I did twice a week. And now obviously now I always upload on a Wednesday and on a Sunday at 6 p.m. But this year we are going all out. I'm talking a whole nother gear and we are going full blown Vlogmas and I could not be happier. So I am literally sad in the drawing room. We've got the fire roaring. It is so warm and toasty. It's one of those freezing cold evenings and I'm feeling so festive. And I'm literally sat amongst tens and tens of years of decorations. So for the very first vlog, I wanted to start with a bang. And not just the fire. <laughs> Crackling away in the background. I felt that the decorations are such a special thing and every single one of them has such powerful meanings and just incredible memories, whether they've been handed down from my grandmother. So many of these things are actually my mother's and so many things that we have collected over the years. And trust me, even these little things, like I was brought up in America and if you have actually followed me for a while, you'll know that. And Christmas is a huge deal. And I mean huge deal in our household. So this Christmas is going to be epic. I'm talking sparkling, I'm talking glittering, I'm talking so much fun, extremely festive and just the most divine, loving family Christmas and I am so excited to share it all with you. Now one thing I do want to talk to you about because it's a little bit of a palaver <laughs> if truth be known but we have found a way around it because I promised you that I would do Vlogmas. However, my best friend is getting married in Barbados and I am one of her bridesmaids. And she's chosen to get married in Barbados at the beginning of December. Hmm, slight catch when it comes to Vlogmas. So I just wanna be open and I want to be honest with you as always. The beginning of Vlogmas is going to be pre-filmed, so I will have pre-recorded a few of the vlogs because I will be in fact flying to Barbados at the beginning of December. I will be partaking in the most beautiful wedding and supporting Christy and Charlie and just celebrating their love because they are so special to me. And then the minute I'm back, we are going to be doing Vlogmas every single day together in real time. But I just wanted to let you know because you'll probably be looking at my Instagram thinking, hang on a moment, how are we sat in her drawing room with a roaring fire, yet Leonora is on a beach in Barbados. <laughs> so I really wanted to just tell you and um, then it would make sense. And you're probably thinking, well, Leo, you have to vlog. Barbados 110% and I've been speaking to Christy and Charlie themselves and you all loved the other weddings that I have shared on my YouTube channel and of course I get the couple's permission and that's something that Sophia and Bertie absolutely love. They love going back to the vlog every single day. Their guests love looking back at it and you have all absolutely adored that vlog and so Christy and Charlie asked if I would do the same and I just I couldn't be more happy to be able to share it with everyone because I know it is going to be 
oh, it is going to be the most beautiful wedding. And um, it's also going to be a family holiday. And I know all of you love <laughs> my family, not quite as much as I do, but um, yes, there are a fair few big characters in my family and you all love following along. So I will also be sharing a full family holiday in Barbados too. And then as I said, we will be back straight into Vlogmas with a bang. So, do you know what? Probably after about 10 minutes <laughs> of nattering away, let's get straight into unboxing. I'm literally surrounded in boxes. I've taken out all of the Christmas decorations, bar the baubles. Bar the baubles. Bar the baubles. <laughs> I can't tell you I'm so excited about today and this being the very first vlog. Um, I've literally stored Christmas decorations in every single nook and cranny and they are all out with us today and I thought for day one let's unbox them all together and then a little bit later on in vlogmas we will be going to pick our christmas trees we are going to be decorating those christmas trees together we are going to do a mega garland in here we are going to decorate the fireplace in the kitchen i'm telling you we go all out on the Christmas decorations in this household and I'm going to be sharing every single teeny tiny detail with you. So I think I might even have to sit on the floor for this because I feel like I need to get amongst all of the Christmas decorations. I also feel like Mother Santa Claus sat here. What do we think? I just feel like I need a hat. Why don't we steal the hat and I can sort of wear this. What do we think? Is this a vibe? <laughs> We're showing Mr. Santa Claus with a bald head. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a few decorations here, and these are things that I've had since I was a little girl. So this Mr. Santa Claus always actually stays at the front of the house, and I just want to be able to show you, oh my goodness me, he is really quite heavy, but the details on him are at absolutely incredible. I'm also very jealous of his uh, Christmas jumper. It is really rather fabulous if that would fit me and if he had on anything underneath I would be stealing that. <laughs> but look at him. He's also got the little sack with the teddy bear, the horse, the acorns and he is absolutely gorgeous. He is also really rather heavy and rather overweight too. Sorry Mr. Santa Claus. Hopefully I don't get cold for Christmas, but he is so gorgeous. He's got his boots, he's got his sleigh, and oh, oh my goodness me, I'm literally, oh Mr. Moose, I've knocked Mr. Moose over. This is something we bought in America. I'm going to come and sit on the floor. It's much easier. And do you know what? He has this thing inside of him, and I never understood why until today. So, when he is standing, the weight needs to be at his bottom because his antlers are too heavy. Mm. So he actually has a family which I think are amongst <laughs> the boxes that are around us. So we've got Mr. Moose who always looks gorgeous underneath the Christmas tree. Obviously we've been decorating the house for many, many years and you get into like a little bit of a routine and I look back at pictures from last year and I look, gosh that looks absolutely amazing, I'm going to recreate that. And then there are areas where I've had an idea throughout the year and I'm like, oh my goodness, we have to design this like that. And I'm very mindful that you know what, Christmas decorations are things that should be kept and treasured and not something that you should go out and buy new every single year. Don't get me wrong, I will probably buy the odd new little bit. I have been eyeing up a few little sausage dog items for the tree. However, we just love recreating things and making things look slightly better and also introducing things from the garden. Now, if you have been following me for a while, you'll know that we have the most beautiful Annabelle hydrangea bed. And what we like to do sort of October, November time is snip them, hang them to dry and then 
spray them gold or silver or really any color that we're going for in terms of the color scheme in the house and it's just such a lovely way of bringing the outside into the inside and not spending more money and just being as eco-friendly and sustainable as possible so there are ways of creating the most incredible Christmas decorations without spending too much money and that is something that is going to come a little bit later on in vlogmas is a lot of how to's without spending too much money anywho this gentleman on my left is one of the most special things i feel we have in our christmas collection now this is a limited edition i'm coming closer i'm coming closer a limited edition Mackenzie Charles Santa Claus. Now a lot of you, <laughs> if that doesn't sing Christmas, I don't know what does. Now a lot of you have asked me about the black and white pots that we have in our kitchen. And we have so many different things. We have little bowls, we have some lanterns, we have pots, we have utensils, candles. And my mother has really been collecting Mackenzie Charles for years. And now it's become not even a passion, it's become an obsession of mine. The dogs even have Christmas bauble Mackenzie Charles outfits. Yes completely lost it. They look at me and they're like, oh mummy, not again, not these jumpers. They feel very embarrassed, but you will be seeing those too because they are absolutely hilarious. I mean, cuteness level, a thousand. But this is a limited edition Santa Claus Mackenzie Childs. And I'm just gonna show you, oh, I'm gonna have to get up for this, a close up of him. Look at that. Oh, the grandfather clocks are donging. Okay, there we go. And he's also got a little sack on his back with a tree. It's got some gorgeous bells. Honestly, this is an absolute vibe when it comes to an outfit for Christmas. I think we should try to recreate this. I would love this to be my like Christmas morning dressing gown. I'd like to be matching him, but he's such a special piece. And actually something that we bought in Harrods about five years ago but every year they do bring out something similar so I will try and link it down below everything that you see in my vlogs will be linked down below if they're not the exact item they will be very similar and I will also try to link things everybody's budget so this definitely was an investment but I'm sure there are things out there that aren't so expensive that I will link down below but he's even look at I'm gonna bring him so much closer so that you can see he's got blue eyes he's got the most incredible glasses he's got eyebrows to die for and I just love him so so much so he is a very very special older gentleman in our household and he's normally always in the kitchen right so that is him now we've got uh, santa claus and his sleigh and this is such a fabulous piece excuse my bottom everybody look at this it's really rather heavy and this is something we put underneath the christmas tree every year and it is Santa Claus literally sitting on his sleigh. He's got this beautiful young girl in her tartan outfit in the back and all the toys. It is actually solid wood, so it's really, really rather heavy. But again, this is what I mean. When you invest in quality items, that goes with everything, whether it's Christmas decorations, whether it's fashion items, dresses, shoes, bags, even household items. If you invest in things that are incredible quality, they will last a lifetime. And this is something that was my mother's when she was a little girl. and. Um, yeah, I just, I, it's just so special and it's so lovely to be able to share it with you. It's even got tiny little things like so in the sleigh and all the tiny little intricate details are just so beautiful. And um, <laughs> I love the bells and all of these things. So this one always goes underneath the Christmas tree. So I'm excited to do that with you. Right, let's now get into some of these boxes. 
Oh, because there are some real gems in here. Huh. What should we start off with? I see a couple of mousses sticking out here. Oh, so let's unbox this one together. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So this was my mother, probably after too many uh, eggnogs and she thought these were fantastic and when she first brought them home i was like oh mommy i'm not sure but the older i get the more obsessed i become with them so they are almost like moroccan themed reindeer they've got these incredible tapestry materials they've got sequins and they're also so heavy so they are actually in fact made out of wood and then covered in the most beautiful hand sewn designs from morocco look at those antlers and they are absolutely beautiful so we have a pair of moose a pair of mooses a pair of moose a pair, of a pair of mooses. I think that's right. <laughs> Let me know down below, but don't they look so sweet? And there's so many other little things uh, that match them, which is so lovely. And again, I think Christmas decorations should be a reflection on your life and your travels and where you've been. And they just bring back so many memories. Now this is why I collect shoe boxes. Jimmy Choo is not just one of the most incredible luxury shoe brands for shoes, but their shoe boxes come in very handy for decorations. And I store so many different things. And one thing I love doing is having wildlife on our tree and actually gripping on to all the garlands in the kitchen. And these are things that we've collected over so many years. And so I actually use these shoe boxes in order to store them so that they don't get all broken in the meantime. So just to show them to you, look at how sweet these are. They are fully beaded, they have feathers, they are glittery, and they are gorgeous. Just look at that. So I have lots in here. Look at this. They are just so, so beautiful. I would love to actually get into making Christmas decorations. Look at that. I probably had too much coffee today. <laughs> look at how much I'm shaking. <laughs> but I'm so excited. Look at that. So one of our Christmas trees will be fully decked out. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. La -la 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 <laughs> oh my goodness. I have lost it and it is Vlogmas day one. Oh, we have got a way to go, ladies and gentlemen. But as I said, we will have one Christmas tree fully decorated from, from top to bottom of beautiful woodland animals. I've got some squirrels, we've got lots of birds, we've got pheasants. I cannot wait, I am so excited. But again, this box is filled with just the most beautiful little birds. I'm actually going to come slightly closer to you. The problem is I've actually put so many boxes in this room, it's difficult to actually get to you. <laughs> so this is a super close up of some of these beautiful birds. Look at that. And then again, these tiny, tiny little birds, but they make so much difference when they are on the tree. Again, look at him. So, so sweet. So, so sweet. So I've got lots of boxes filled with the most gorgeous and glittering birds. Okay, what next do we have? A Sainsbury's bag. Ooh. Oh, the smell of Christmas. We've got the very traditional dried oranges. And this is what I mean, save these from one year to the next. You don't need to buy them new. So these are all the dried oranges and the dried limes. Also got a whole heap of acorns. And last year we went super, super natural and like woodlandy. And this year I'm even thinking to spray these 
almost like an antique brass colour and I think that they will look so so special. So you can like upcycle things from one year to the next and make them slightly different and they'll feel like a brand new decoration yet you won't be spending a huge amount of money. So I've got a whole Sainsbury's bag full of dried fruits and you know me I don't do things super minimalistic so we need items in order to sort of make it look really rather wow. That is what we're going for. Then, what have we got down here? Gosh, I feel like it's Christmas Day already, unboxing all of these things. Okay, we've got lots of white baubles in there, but that is coming on a whole nother vlog. Right, that is box number one done. Okay, next box. <laughs> These, oh gosh, there's a moose. It's a flying moose. Not a reindeer, a flying moose. Right, this is my box with all of the cushions and they are so special. So this one says, be naughty and save Santa the trip. <laughs> And literally, if there is a sofa or a chair or any form of surface, trust me, there will be a little cushion or pillow on it. So this one says, friends are the best presents. And then again, friends are the best presents. This one says, dear Santa, I can explain. <laughs> I love that one. A few little snowmen on there. I think needle pointing is just such an incredible talent. I don't feel that I am patient enough. I should definitely give it a go. I think it would be extremely therapeutic and probably quite good for me. <laughs> then this one says, I believe. I've had this one since I was a little girl and I always loved the little gold embroidery throughout it. And I just think it's so special and I always had it in my bedroom. So I'm gonna take that upstairs. This one says, good old Merry Christmas. Then what have we got here, Santa. I've been a good dog. So this one goes in the dog room and they all have their very own little cushions and then we make their beds up. They do also have um, Christmas blankets at this time of year. I know, I'm completely crazy, but it does just make it that little bit more special and fun. So that goes in the dog room on their little sofa. Friends are the best presents. My goodness me, we've got a fair few of those. This one again says Merry Christmas. This actually was my grandmother's and um, something that is so, so special. We always used to have the most incredible traditions and I feel like families have so many different traditions. And again, it's just so special. When I was a little girl, my grandparents used to come over every Christmas morning and we would set up in my parents' bedroom and everybody would have their own little station. And my grandmother used to arrive literally like Mother Santa Claus. Mother Claus. Mother Claus. She used to wear this, oh, stunning silk robe with bell sleeves and she had white feathers. She would be wearing every single piece of jewelry <laughs> she owned. She was the most glamorous woman I have ever known in my life. Even still up to today, I don't think I've ever met somebody quite so glamorous. And um, it just made it so special. And uh, yeah, amazing, her little needle point cushion. Then this one says, joy. What else do we have? Again, a couple of penguins. I told you I had a fair few <laughs> needle pointed cushions. Again, we've got another friends make the best presents. I obviously buy these and stop thinking that I'm gonna give them to somebody else and then just end up putting them all around the house. We've got a pair of joys. And then this one again was my grandmother's and this one says welcome with a gorgeous little Christmas tree on the front. Then we have peace. I think we all need to take a little something from that cushion. Um, right, what else do we have in here? We have all of our Christmas tree lights. It's one thing I love doing, and I always make Mark do, is untangle these bad boys, because I do not have the patience for these. And they are still plugged into the extension lead from last year. And then we have another. Mm -hmm. I wondered where he was. We have another. Oh, 
oh my goodness me, the tissue paper stuff at the bottom. Another Santa Claus, because you can never have too many. They are dotted around the house, and this one has pearls, and he has a trumpet, and he has a very gorgeous velvet cape. Can we not just make wearing velvet capes a thing? I would absolutely love that. Stunning. I absolutely love him. So, that is, oh no, these are the babies of our Moroccan moose. Okay, gosh, and along with some random looking Christmas decorations we've had for a very long time. I'm not sure these are going to be coming out this year. I think I may donate these. They are just oh, a little bit too much. But look at how stunning these are. I'm going to come and show you a close-up of these. Oh, they are so, so pretty and just so different, which I love. I don't like following... I don't know, I just feel that Christmas decorations can be so same samey. And don't get me wrong, I do get my inspiration from a few different places, but I get inspiration from places where we've traveled. And as I said, my mother bought these and I just think they're fabulous. And as you know, there are so many like reds and browns and burgundies and golds in our house and they match to perfection. So they are very, very sweet. Oh, I wonder where they're going to go this year. Now, to continue the tradition of animals and families, we have the most precious family of penguins. And they are not just normal penguins, ladies and gentlemen. They are lighting up penguins. Oh my goodness, can you hear that? That is actually the rain coming down outside. I'm feeling so cosy and toasty with the fire crackling behind me. But this is something we have had for so, so long. And as I said, there is a full family of them. So let's get her babies out. Ugh. And I do try to keep the packaging of all of them just so that when Christmas is over, sadly, how can I be saying Christmas is over? Christmas hasn't even started yet. But when it is time to pack it all up, then we know exactly where they're going and they go back into their boxes and they are protected until they come out the year after. So this is one of her babies. And I actually think there's a bigger one there definitely is a bigger one. I think there's a daddy, but this, oh, ignore that. This is her baby. And they all light up and they sit together. And most of the time we have them by the front door, but I have a new idea of where they can go. And I think they will look absolutely gorgeous. So these are something that I treasure and they are just so special and beautiful when they are switched on. You'll have to wait and see what they look like because trust me, they are just smashing if truth be known. Right, those boxes can go back in the attic. I need to find Daddy Penguin. Daddy Penguin is somewhere. Okay, well we're gonna have to go on a penguin hunt in a little bit. But let's continue unboxing a few more. Right, we've done this one. Put him over there. Gosh, I really hope Mark doesn't come in now because he'll be like, Leonora, what are you doing? It is a complete mess in here. And I'm like, I know, I know, chill out. It is a process. Right, let's open this one here. Uh, right, this one says Christmas, oh yes. Christmas Mackenzie's. I probably shouldn't have put it down like that. This one is actually rather fragile. Okay, but so fabulous. Okay. Oh, oh, the smell coming out of this box. <gasps> this is one of last year's The White Company Christmas candles. Now, their scent, you probably all know the White Company scent, but they have just nailed the Christmas smell. Got nutmeg, got cinnamon, cardamom, vanilla. Oh, it literally just is incredible. And it's one of those with the dried fruit on the inside. And do you know what? Some Christmases, we don't actually get through them. So we save them for the year after. And um, literally from lifting that lid, it has just transported me into a whole world of festive Christmasness. 
Christmasiness. Christmasiness. By this point, you probably know that I have my own language. It's called Leonora language. It makes absolutely no sense, but hopefully you get the gist. Okay, so we have a few candles in here, and then we have our Christmas Mackenzie Charles candle little glass holders. So I'm gonna bring these much closer to you so that you can see them really close up and just see how beautiful they are. As I said, we are completely Mackenzie Childs obsessed. And these are, oh, just kick you, sorry about that. I was not intending to do that. And look at how beautiful they are. So they are all hand painted. You have the traditional black and white, and then you have these beautiful red flowers with berries, and then the gold dots and the gold rim. And normally what we do is we pop tea lights in here and it just sparkles and they are so special. Again, with this one, it's a little bit more like a hurricane lamp. We'll probably put a larger candle in this and this one has green and gold bottom to it. And they're so, so special. I think we do actually have a few more of those. Ah! Let's go through these, oh, sorry. I keep kicking you, but there's so much stuff going on. Oh, right, here we go. Here is a few more of the baby ones. And we try to keep all of the Mackenzie Charles in the kitchen. And when it's all together, it looks so, so beautiful. So again, that is another little tea light. Mackenzie Charles holder. When I was little, we always used to go to New York um, at Christmas. We'd go and see Rockefeller Center, we'd go and see the tree, we'd go and see the Rockettes. Now, if any of you are planning to go to New York or are going to New York this Christmas, please, please, no matter what age you are, I took Mark to New York a few years ago. I think it was just before COVID and he'd never been and I took him to go and see the Rockettes and trust me, he was like, he was like a little girl. He was like, oh, the whole show. And trust me, it's something that I, it's just sort of like etched into my brain at being one of the most special things I've ever done in my entire lifetime. And it's become like a little bit of a tradition that whenever we went to New York, we would go and buy a beautiful Mackenzie Child's Christmas ornament that almost was a memory. So whenever I unbox some of these things, it's when we had one of those trips to New York. So this is again, another little tea light holder. Right, we do have a fair few of these, but I think last year a couple of them did get smashed, which literally breaks my heart when things are just so sentimental. But as you can see, I take wrapping them very, very seriously too. So again, that is one of the medium ones. He actually does need a good old clean, but I actually don't let anybody else do that because they're so fine that they can smash really easily. And I'd rather be upset with myself than with anybody else. Okay, we've got a couple more Mackenzie Charles, and then we've actually got more Christmas candles. I've got one of those traditional winter, um, the White Company candles, but he's actually really rather low. So what I might do is I might use him behind the scenes to set the scent and actually then have a little bit of a prettier one at the forefront and then save it, not have to light it. So I'll be like, where is that scent coming from? <laughs> Again, another Mackenzie Child's tea light. Oh my goodness me, I am a little bit too obsessed. And then I do have some baubles in here, but I fear we'll be here all night if I go through the baubles. And then we have a couple of minis. And look at how cute these are. Are they not the sweetest little thing? We do also have a full Mackenzie Child set for the tree, which looks epic. Especially if Mr. Santa Claus is sat at the bottom of the tree, along with all of the other white and black and gold items. It looks absolutely exquisite. Right. Oh, that did not sound good. Oh, oh no. This is what I mean. I'm happy it was me, but this was one of the Mackenzie Child's baubles. Okay, well, 
it's fine. It's fine. These things happen. These things will happen. That's very sad. Okay, well, I need to be a little less heavy-handed. I think that is all of the glass Mackenzie Childs candle holders, and these are all baubles. So, this box is finished. Let's move on and see what other gorgeous little goodies we can find. Okay, <laughs> I told you there were a fair few boxes in here. Ooh, we have a few of our beautiful woodland decorations and how pretty is he so one year john lewis did the most incredible collection of woodland animals and i was obsessed i think it was about three or four years ago and look at how stunning he is so it's a little fox with a glittery tail he's got sparkles all over him yet he's not too much i would say there's a fine line between having a few sparkles and looking gorgeous and having a few sparkles and it looking a little bit naff i'm so sorry to say but i thought he was just beautiful so that is him we'll pop him there for just a moment and then in here we have a few little robins so here's his little partner there are a pair of robins somewhere We've also got a pair of partridges and all that jazz. In here we have more candles. What is in here? I'm always scared that there's going to be an unwanted visitor in one of these boxes. Ooh. Oh no, there's also candles. Fabulous. Save your candles, ladies and gentlemen, from one year to the next, because you can actually melt them down and re-pour them and they look brand new. And get them out perfectly. And they're these gorgeous little acorns and so easy to make. You can literally go and find these in your local parks, local woods, in your gardens. And all you need, actually sharing all my top secrets here, is actually a little bit of floristry foam. I'm not sure whether that's what it's called. I will find out what it's called. But you know that sort of like spongy green stuff that florists use? Cut a circular amount of it, pop in all of your acorns, leave a gap in the middle and pop in a candle and it is so effective and pretty. But like I said, we're going to be doing DIY fabulous Christmas decorations a little bit later on in Vlogmas. And then we have these trees which are absolutely beautiful. Again, something that I've had for so long. Now, they don't look much, but when you untangle I'm going to bring them slightly closer. We have about six of these, and I love, gosh, I'm really getting stuck in all these Christmas decorations, aren't I? Let's move this box, and then I can come slightly closer to you. Oh gosh, we're now gonna have to move Mr. Fox. Oh, move you down there. Move Mr. Robin over there. I will sit here. Gosh, I'm having to move so many things out of the way so that I can come and actually speak to you up close. But so they don't look much, these trees. But if you look really, really carefully, the branches are made out of these incredible, almost like little jewels. And please excuse, they have been boxed up. So what I need to do is actually spend some time unraveling these and pointing them in the right direction and it's almost like little icebergs or jewellery on a tree and they're so pretty and what I love to do is actually place them down the table and I incorporate these into a tablescape and it looks so magical. So I do need to in fact spend a little bit of time unwinding these. I remember last year I was sad having a bottle of champagne <laughs> with my godmother, Kimberly, who you have all met before. And bless her, she had so much patience and she unraveled every single one of these. And trust me, it had never looked better. And it seems as there are a fair, actually, this one has hardly been touched in the box. So it gives you a good idea of what it looks like. I'm gonna bring it a little bit back so that you can see it. You're probably still like Leo. It looks like a sparkly tree insect. <laughs> but trust me, it looks so pretty and effective in real life. I just love it. So we have a fair share of those. Let me get those out. I've got a little 
baby one and then we have a medium shaped one and again you all know me and I bang on about it all the time but when you want to create a table setting that is just Wow, it is all about the levels. You need highs and lows, you need things on the ground, you need to introduce light, you need to introduce things that light reflects off of, and these do just that. It is literally like having jewelry up and down the table, as well as being such a special and sentimental item. I have just so many memories of these, like I just said, even not a memory of buying it, but a memory of sitting and untangling it and putting the world to right with Kimberly last year. Maybe that might have to become a bit of a tradition. What do we think? Should we get Kimberly in the Vlogmas content? I think so. Okay, right, that is another box. I do have a few more little items in here, but we've got like feathery trees, which will be incorporated somewhere in the household because literally not one surface goes untouched. It is winter wonderland in here, literally Christmas grotto of dreams. <sighs> I am so excited for this. Honestly, I need to probably go and have a can of malt tea and calm down, but I'm not going to. Right, over here we have a pair of peacocks who are absolutely fabulous. Now, our next door neighbour very, very kindly bought them for us last year. And how cool are they? So bad, we haven't actually taken the labels off of them. I think probably because I really want to know where they're from. And then every year I can remember. So these are actually from Artificial Imports. And I just want to show you the details on these bad boys. Not only do they have a crown on their heads, anything with a crown is a must. <laughs> and then just look at the detail. All of these beautiful peacock feathers. He has gold feet. And then look at his bag. Beautiful feathers. This is like a little furry theme of Bobby. Might I add, not a real fur thingy, my Bobby. It's just really pretty. And then it goes into peacock feathers. And then look at his tail. Is that not just fabulous? It's like a little floofy thing at the bottom. And then you have the peacock feathers made out of little jewels. There we go, my head poking around the side. And they're just so cool and they're so different. So very kindly, our next door neighbor bought us a pair of peacocks. And um, yeah, they will be going somewhere in the house. I haven't quite decided, but um, I like things to look tonal. So they'll have to go somewhere with lots of like green and browns and um, golds. We'll have to fit in the crown. I feel like I need a matching crown. I think so too. I think so too. Huh. What else do we have to unbox? I've got a fair few more cushions. Should we do cushions or should we do decorations? Okay, we'll do cushions first, and then, oh gosh, there goes the sparkly Christmas tree. Pop him down there, and let's sit back down again. I'm literally surrounded <laughs> at this point by penguins, we've got little foxes, we've got so many Mr. Santa Clauses behind me, and another one in his sleigh, and this one says Merry Christmas. So these are literally going to go on the chairs, and all of the other cushions go into storage until the new year. This one says home. Home is where the heart is. Oh, it's just such a gorgeous cushion. And these actually go in the family room and look so pretty. Then we have a reindeer and Santa Claus in a soft top. And the number plate says Xmas. <laughs> And all of the Christmas presents are coming out of the top of the car. I just thought that it was so funny and fun and humorous. And we'll go on one of the sofas in this house. Then oh, we have some more in here. What I love to do is actually have this one in front of that one. And I just think the colours just go so well together. Oh, then we have... Um, what are they? Oh, reindeers. I had it upside down with gorgeous little velvet bows. Now, I feel like Christmas, bows are everywhere and I love them. Bows in our hair, bows on our dresses, bows on our cushions. Oh, bows absolutely everywhere. 
Then we've got some nutcrackers on a cushion. Again, another beautiful needle point. Okay, then we have Joy. I feel like this one's a little bit of a collection. So we've got Home, we've got Love, we've got Joy. <laughs> I've spent a whole hour filming this. God knows how long it's going to be. Then we've got Peace, we've got Love, and another one saying Peace. So those all go together on a sofa and they just look so tonal, so happy and um, gorgeous all together. Then I've got another <laughs> needlepoint cushion saying, friends are the best presents. I feel like maybe I should launch a competition. Maybe I'll do a giveaway and I will give one of these very, very special needlepoint cushions to one of you. But do you know what? I have to have a little think about how we're going to do it, but you've heard it here, I will do it. Right. What else do we have? Now I think we should get straight into these boxes over here. Gosh, some serious heavy lifting today. You should have seen me earlier trying to get these out of the attic. It was a real, <laughs> a real task. It was not ladylike whatsoever. Right, in here we have a little bit of a floofy magic. So I think, yes, this is the little um, thing you have at the bottom of the Christmas tree. Is it called like a Christmas tree sleeve or a Christmas tree skirt? So it's this beautiful little fluffy number. Where is this from? Um, this is faux fur with a beautiful soft suede on the inside. I'm gonna find some options to this because it's such a fantastic color that it goes with so many different decorations and it's also so soft. Like, look at the penguins sitting on it and then Santa Claus sitting on it. It's just so gorgeous and really sort of sets the scene from the floor upwards. Then we have, I mean, you probably all guessed it, a gold sausage dog. How could we not? We've got actually about three or four of these and they are dotted around the house. They are as naff as it gets, but you all know I am sausage dog <laughs> obsessed. But how fabulous is Fronk? And we've named all of them and they are utterly ridiculous. So we've named underneath his little paw and this one is Fronk. So he is just delicious and will be in pride position somewhere. Then in here, we have actually a few more little, I'm gonna come and sit up here again so you can actually see closer up some of these gorgeous decorations. So this is from our Woodland collection and he's a gorgeous little fezzy. How pretty is he? So again, we've got lots of little birdies, lots of baubles, my goodness me. Baubles are gonna come a little bit later on. Actually, another thing um, that we collect and something that actually other people now know that we collect. And Kimberly actually bought these last year and she bought so many beautiful Christmas decorations back for us and they're just so special. I mean, look at this. It is all hand beaded and stunning. Again, this one with the little crown on. Look at these jewels. It's actually really rather heavy. So the quality is so high that they love last a lifetime if you look after them. So we have so many decorations like this and one tree will be very much almost like a memories tree. It looks so beautiful because again, I think people who, who gift Christmas decorations, they're mindful of what you already collect and they buy them in the same color schemes, which I think is just so special and so thoughtful. And um, the tree itself just looks so magical. So I cannot wait to design that with you. And then down here, it wouldn't be a Leonora tree without ah, a sausage dog. Look at him. So I actually bought this last year. So he is relatively new to the collection. It's almost like Wiggy in a hat. And is he not just so special? So <laughs> I'm yet to have been allowed to do a sausage dog tree, literally decorate it from the very top. We could have like Franck at the very top of the Christmas tree, like the angel, and then have like sausage dogs dripping down the Christmas tree. And then we could have like an incredible picture with all the boys in their Christmas outfits next door to the sausage dog Christmas tree. Oh, I've officially lost it. But I think I'm gonna have to do that now. I've said it here, you've all heard it. We have to do it. 
<laughs> I think Mark might just say no, but I'm gonna try anyway. Is he not just so sweet? So we have really rather a few of these beautiful little people. And then again, under each little layer of newspaper, we have the gorgeous stars, little white and gold, and they're just so intricate. Again, the moons, these were something Kimberly bought as well. It's just so special. And so many different places actually stock Christmas decorations like this now. So you can pick these up and I will find a place of where you can buy something super similar. Um, then we've got gorgeous bows. Again, so many woodland animals. I see feathers down here, but I kind of feel like we're crossing over into the Christmas tree decorations. Do we do a couple more? I think we do a couple more. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> I'm so excited. Okay, right down here, we're going into bird haven. And look at these gorgeous red birds, beautiful feathers. And there's so many different ways that you can use these birds, not just on your tree, but we normally have a huge garland that goes across the fireplace. And actually we attach the birds into there because normally their feet have little wire. So as you can see, there's some wire here that you can actually bend and grip onto the gorgeous foliage. And um, they look fabulous. Okay, so we've got lots of those. And again, we went with a bit of a red theme. This one is really rather old and his tail is looking rather frazzled, but um, he's so beautiful. He's got these gorgeous little red tassels. That actually, you're meant to entwine around his tail. He needs a bit of TLC if truth be known, but he is absolutely beautiful. Look at the gems, so stunning. Then we have more fabulously tailed birds. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Now this is not the only red thing I'm looking at. I'm currently seeing my battery flashing. So I'm gonna quickly change the battery pack and I will be, of course, back. I am back. I've popped another log on the fire. But so it's so gorgeous and toasty in here. I just don't think that there's anything better than a real lit fire. It's just so special and oh, so beautiful. Just sitting on that little seat next to the fire is one of my favorite places in the house. And this is such a special room. And I also feel like you guys never come in here. I never film in here because it's one of the formal rooms in the house. Um, so it's so special to be in here with you. Right, we've still got a fair few to get through. So I'm just gonna show you a few of these birds. Again, we've got a few more of the ones with the frazzled tails more gorgeous pheasants because we are a very country household and then down here it's just more birds more birds and more baubles and ribbons and then i see some gorgeous golden pears and look at that when we were in america we used to do a fully gold tree and it was rather a lot <laughs> but it looked good out there and it looked good within the setting and this is a golden pear that has made its way back to the uk well there are a fair share of golden pears down there but i think it dotted around a Christmas tree strategically. They're so beautiful. I mean, look at the detail on the leaf. That will focus, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at this setting. It just feels so Christmassy and so special. Right, I fear that this vlog, I have been going on and on and on. I've heard my fair share of ding-donging from the grandfather clock. I'm just so excited to get started with Vlogmas and to share just such special family memories with you and make new memories. And uh, it's just such an incredible time of year filled with so much love, happiness, laughter, and um, making incredible family memories. So I'm just really, really excited to be able to share it with you. And let me tell you, the Vlogmas schedule is epic 
absolutely epic. So I truly cannot thank you for being part of this journey. And as I always say, if you do love this content and I do make you smile and you enjoy watching my channel, I would be so grateful if you liked this vlog. Leave a little comment if you can. And please, please, if you do me one thing, be the greatest Christmas gift of all is to hit that subscribe button. It just lets me know and lets my team know how much you are enjoying the content. And that would genuinely mean the world to me. So I can promise you this year's Vlogmas is going to be glittering, it's going to be sparkling, it's going to make you happy, it's most certainly going to make you laugh and it is going to be simply magical and I cannot wait to share every single teeny tiny itty bitty detail with you. I also want to be different and I also want to share with you my real life and the real traditions that we do as a family and um, really welcome you guys into it and that's something that I am so passionate about is sharing captivating and beautiful and most importantly real content so oh, I am so excited I just don't want to end vlog number one but it has to come to an end so I truly hope you guys have enjoyed vlogmas number one buckle up because things are going to get epic. Sending you so much love and I will see you guys tomorrow.